The NBA is a global organization geared for all ages. And as an NBA Playmaker partner, you're representing not only yourself, but also your corner of the brand community. All right, then. Let me represent my corner of the brand community. Now, I'm terrified of making this video just because I know of the repercussions that could come from it, but it's not right. It's not fair. And I can't hold my tongue on this anymore. So for the past few years, I've been with a network called NBA Playmakers. They approached me pretty much when I first started off the channel talking about the NBA. And it sounded really great. Basically, I was going to be given permission to use NBA footage in my videos and also have the opportunity to go out to special events, get my videos on the NBA's channel, things, things of that nature. So of course it sounded really, 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 really great to someone who at the time had maybe 1000 subscribers on YouTube. How could anyone turn that down? And I'll even say to this day that I don't necessarily regret my decision of joining NBA Playmakers because I learned a lot. I, I learned a heck of a lot. But that being said, it's not right. Yesterday, I received a phone call. And essentially, the NBA is pretty much trying to destroy my channel. Let me take you guys back for a, a couple of seconds here so we can go through the sequence of events that has happened over the course of the past couple of years. So it all started when I was about to receive one of my first paychecks from YouTube. You know, I, I was excited at the time. I was dirt broke and I wasn't expecting a lot from YouTube. Granted, we get to see as creators how much we're going to earn on the YouTube dashboard. And then being with a the network, they're going to take a percentage of that, right? That's that's how it works. When you sign a contract, the network takes a percentage of that in exchange for the services that they provide to you. So I had it all calculated out. I knew what I was going to get. And to me at the time, it was a lot of money because once again, I was dirt broke, 100% dirt broke so it was a couple hundred dollars i was ecstatic right payday comes you get like 50. it was confusing at the time because that was a heck of a lot lower than i should have been making even with the network taking their cut but come to find out that not only was the network going to be taking a cut but what wasn't made clear to any nba playmaker with the network was that the nba was also taking a cut and when i say a cut I mean a cut, like a big, 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 big cut. If someone was gonna hit me with three of an apples, I'd probably get half of an apple after the NBA was done. Let's just put it like that. So that that was the first setback, but that did let me know that if I grew my channel enough, I'd be able to reach a higher tier with the NBA Playmakers, where the NBA wouldn't take as much of a cut. So I'm people with four grapes, you know, a payday, I might actually be able to get two of those grapes, the highest tier that the NBA was willing to offer for those using the footage that they'd provide you. And speaking of the footage that they provide you, uh, you guys know the footage that I'm talking about. It's the game recaps that can be found pretty much on their website. But it, it doesn't even stop there because let's now jump back to the phone call that I received yesterday. And this is a straw that broke the camel's back for me because I, at this point, I could care less. I could 100% care less because one of the things that I tried to do to combat the NBA taking a majority of my revenue so I could continue to make videos for you guys is I go out and get sponsorships. Yo, shout out to Hoop Culture, shout out to SeatGeek, shout out to one of them that I haven't even started yet, FanDuel. I'll have links to all of those down in the description box below. Use the promo code ZAC10 for 10% off at Hoop Culture. Promo code SDC to get $20 off your first order at SeatGeek and just, you know, install FanDuel by using the link in the description box below. So one of the things that myself and a lot of the other NBA Playmakers creators have tried to do to combat the fact that the NBA takes a majority of our revenue is to go out there and get sponsorships. 
right? That's that's why that's why we push so hard for Seat Geek because they support the creators and all these other great, wonderful sponsors that I've worked with over the course of the past couple of years. But get a phone call yesterday. Guess what? The NBA no longer wants the creators to take sponsorships. Let's not think in. They don't want creators, not even take sponsorships. They don't want creators to turn any revenue outside of the revenue that they so graciously give us from the videos that we make on YouTube. Now, how in the world is, is that right? How in the world are we not allowed sponsorships on the videos we put our blood, sweat, and tears into just because the NBA pretty much doesn't want us to profit off their footage. People don't watch our videos for the NBA's footage. People watch our videos because our, if it was just the NBA's footage, wouldn't nobody watch that? All right, they go to other channels to see the game highlights and stuff like that, sure. But when it comes to videos like this, it's not the footage. That's, you're not the main selling point of the videos. So for you to tell us that we can't take sponsorships on the videos that we wake up every day and make, that we stress over and make, it's beyond ridiculous. But not even that was the 100% tipping point here. See, what got really, 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 really got to me was the fact that after that, they said that I was in violation of my contract for pretty much stating my opinion on games, players, and the NBA itself in my videos. And then they forced me to take down some of my videos because they didn't like the opinion that I was stating in my videos. Essentially, they're trying to take away the freedom of speech when it comes to the NBA. They said, in videos that I use footage in, I'm not allowed to give any negative viewpoints on the NBA, its players, the teams, the coaches, just anyone associated with the association. I can't say the Cleveland Cavaliers suck in my videos. Well, I'm sorry, they suck. What am I supposed to say? Oh, that's a great team. You know, you guys should go get your tickets. It's a wonderful up and coming team in the league. No wonder the NBA is making the all-star game back in Cleveland in 2022 because the Cleveland Cavaliers are so great. Everyone loves the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm not allowed to say a player is overrated. I'm not allowed to say a player sucks or, or isn't playing well. I'm not allowed to say that a player made a dirty play. <laughs> what do you want me to say? It's a complete joke. A complete joke. How am I going to make videos about the NBA when I can't give my real opinion on the NBA. And they're gonna threaten to take down my videos if I continue to use the footage and do it. And, and who knows what happens after that. So bottom line is, guess what? I can't use footage in my videos anymore. And they're also not gonna be inviting me to any of their fancy events that they hold that so, they so graciously sometimes once in every blue moon <laughs> lets you attend even though with the money they take from me i mean i could have went to the all-star game myself a few times it's crazy it's a hundred percent insanity like i don't know who in their right mind would agree to these terms you're basically doing work for free and the work you're doing is a hundred percent censored by the nba that's a great program right there. Keep it up. Keep it up. So as far as the future of the channel, I'm still going to be here. Well, let's hope this channel doesn't get taken down by the NBA. <laughs> After this video, they, they might because I just freaking exposed 
the NBA Playmakers Network. But the truth has to be out there. These are things that they didn't let you know when they signed up. They didn't mention any of this at all. So I'm just doing the world a favor for anyone else that's thinking about signing up because it's not right. It's 100% not right. It's deceitful. That's what it is. It's deceiving to these smaller creators that they try and loop in. And once they grow bigger, guess what? They're in shackles. That's such messed up business practices. But, you know, I'm still going to be here every day posting videos. It's not going to stop. My videos are only going to get better. This is going to force me to make better videos and think outside the box now that I can't use footage at all. But the videos are going to be better. And one thing I'm going to do is you guys are going to want to follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing highlights and stuff there with recaps quick like one minute recaps of all the games every morning every day on my instagram account so you guys can still catch up because that's the only reason i did those things in the first place was for you guys the people who maybe didn't have time to follow the nba every day and keep up with it i'm still going to be doing that on my instagram panel because if i'm not going to get paid my we'll just do it on my instagram also doll on my app jump tv i'll have that link down in the description box below because it's going to be a lot better than anything the NBA lets me do. I'll tell you that. It's going to be it's going to be a really really dope app in the next coming weeks. I'm not allowed to say too much more, but you're definitely going to want to download the app. And, uh yeah, I'm also going to have a link to my second channel down in the description box below too just just in case something happens to the channel. I'm not saying it will, but just in case. But uh yeah. No. I don't really support the NBA. I support the players, I support the game. I like basketball. End of story.